What am I doing? I'm mooring this boat. Yeah, I know I'm on land, but nonetheless, I'm in full control. This is an incredible thing, but after all, this is the boat show. But now let me finish and then I'll explain. This little device called Dock Mace, and even if it looks like a simple remote control to you, believe me, it's much more. It's mainly a remote control that can manage up to seven onboard utilities, but in reality, it's a real pocket sized dashboard that can be used in every maneuvering phase. All right, let's head out, and I'll explain even better. I must say that this is the solution to one of the trickiest problems of life on board, mooring, especially on boats where the crew is minimal or non-existent. Now the manoeuvres are over, let me put this back in its docking station and resume the commands from the throttles, as I would normally do. But when manoeuvring, having this remote attached to your neck is just like having a dashboard in front of you. Yet at the same time, we can also move around the entire perimeter of the boat. And this is one of the most comfortable things in the world. You see, from here you can manage the bow and stern thrusters if they are naturally present on board, and then the main engines, single or multiple. And then, for example, the horn or other utilities of your choice, such as the garage door or the electric ladder. It communicates with the main bridge using the wireless Docklink 2 communication protocol. Two-way communication with a method whereby radio signals change six times per second, so as to be super safe and not risk disconnecting in the middle of a mooring. This technology is truly applicable to all types of boats, sailing or motor, with shaft line or stern drives, or, as in this case, the IPS with a single engine or with multiple engines, one or two thrusters fore and aft, and even with one or two capstans for the anchor. For this reason, there are different models of Dockmate optimized for each type of boat. But the most interesting thing is the level of customization, or rather, the possible adjustment of the Dockmate system. Yes, because this remote control isn't just a series of on and off buttons grouped together. It purports to be an extension of the commander's will to maneuver. Now I'll explain better. With the Dock Control 2 software, which is managed during installation with a PC, the remote control can be adjusted to the millimeter based on the captain's hand. For example, the sensitivity and width of the various directional sectors of the joystick can be changed so as to facilitate the most commonly used ones or reduce the possibility of error during the maneuver. For me, it's extremely important to immediately shift forward or reverse because a hull approaching the key reaches its maximum speeds on the longitudinal axis and therefore have to be ready to oppose it. But the remote is not just a directional selector. I decided not only where the boat should move, but also how fast. And if the onboard systems allow it, the joystick takes on a proportional propulsive thrust function. That is, from here, I decide how much power to give with all the propellers on board. Here too, during the installation phase, the acceleration curve can be set based on the total stroke of the cursor. Now I'll explain. It can be set so that from the neutral gear position up to halfway through the cursor stroke, the acceleration of the boat is minimal and instead concentrated entirely in the second half. Let's try it out. Start. I accelerate very little. Then I go all the way. It accelerates a lot. But in reality, there are many adjustments that we can make on the Dockmate that solve just as many problems as we encounter every day during manoeuvring, such as the reactivity of the engines with the electronic throttle. During the manoeuvre, when we give the classic tap forward, 
then engage forward gears, and then immediately return to neutral, there may be a latency between the command we send and the actual rotation of the propeller. And if we do it too fast, the propeller doesn't have time to start spinning, so this action will be completely useless. This happens because the transmissions work thanks to an oil circuit, which, in order to actually turn the propellers, must reach a certain pressure, which takes a few tenths of a second. By calculating this reaction time, the soft docking function keeps the forward signal active, even when the button is released, until the propellers begin their effective rotation. Plus, Dockmate managed to win a great challenge in the nautical world, allowing lateral movements on boats that do not have IPS, as in this case, or a joystick in general. I'm talking about boats with shaft lines or engines without stern thrusters. Something that previously only the most experienced sailors could do, this feature is called Stern Thruster Simulator. In short, this portable helm station frees those on board to roam throughout the boat, as I have done before. Return to the dock, take the mooring lines, and secure everything by yourself. Honestly, isn't that every owner's dream? Oh, we're on land. Oh, but we just need to do this.